Right, so from the beginning, you open up a new Google Chrome tab as this is a Google site that you're creating. In this particular place, click here, Google. Alright, and then you could click Drive. That would be a better way to do it. You can actually click Sites if you can find this, this icon here. Alright, and then you straight away go into the site. It's just that uh, then the location you will, you will be just generally in the drive. So you may want to click drive. Okay, just click it. And to know where you have actually created or store or save your Google site, it's better for you to in the drive to a particular folder that you want. Alright, and from here, then you click the new site. Alright, this is where you get it. Uh, on the top left hand corner, this plus sign here, you click on it and you go down to more. And then you just uh, drop down to the board, uh, the, this icon, item called Google Site. Click on it, you open up a new site for you. And this, you are certain it is right here at this particular folder. Alright, so let's get back there. Okay, so once the site is open, a new site is open. Okay, you can see in the, the address here up here. Okay, and when I refresh, the site is a new site right at this folder. There you go, it appears. So let's carry on to um, design the site. Right, so this is the portfolio that we are looking at. The most important thing first of all is to key in your site name. Okay, yeah, so this will be the name that your file will be called. Alright, so you just generally call it a. You can put your name and then it just indicate portfolio, something like that. Alright, so enter. Okay, and then you may want to copy that and uh, that be the same name as your front main page. Cool. Alright, so this is only one page that you have just created. Right, if you have already in mind a certain number of uh, main pages out of this, uh, be beside this main page, what you can do is to add pages from the beginning, right? But you need to plan it in advance. So then now currently you only have a home page. So from here, what you can do is you just add other pages to it. Alright, let's say we have, we have two page, main pages. One is this, this will be the first page, home page. And we add another one by going down to this plus button here. I show again, plus button here. And then just click on the page. Okay, new page will be created based on the topics. Right, for example, okay. Uh, that means um, topics of your subjects. Alright, you may want another one. Um, that means... Uh, um, uh, work or presentation okay anything that you would like to add into main pages right beside the home page cool so you see all these main pages will be shown up here right home page presentation and topics right if you want to rearrange them okay it's pretty simple you just go come uh, still maintain at this page on the right hand panel okay and you will go down and you click on it let's say you want the uh, topic to be at the second beside home you just click on this topic and then you just drag okay until you see the line and that will be the location where it will be dropped so now you can see topics is the second one okay uh, so a lot of time we would like to have sub pages within the topic itself where you can drop down so that is pretty easy to create as well you, yep. so when you Go over the cursor over the topic, all right, of the uh, the page. We will see three dots here. You just click on the three dots and then drop down. You will see add sub pages. Okay, from here then you'll be a sub page to that page. Click on it and you can add any topic you want, all right, like nutrition, and then you can just click on it. Go. You can see the sub page is actually right below the topic itself. Sometimes it may just accidentally become a main page for example right if you click wrongly it becomes a main page it's pretty easy to just make it a sub page by clicking on it and then you drop it into the topic it becomes the sub top top sub page of the topic all right so now we will go back to the main page and show you how you can add various things within the page itself and it's very simple you just have to go over to insert click on insert there are all these different functions here on the right panel okay First of all, the more, uh, the more important one will be the layouts, alright? But you can you have to click one layout at a time. So most of the time, it will be great uh, and beautiful uh, and informative at the same time to have this layout with picture 
and wordings at the same time okay so you can click on it this is my uh, first recommendation for you to try it out all right where you can add a picture on the left all right very simple to add you just go once your layout is in you see this plus this security to add picture you can click on it all right and then you can just upload a picture okay so let's say i uh, upload all right and let's say uh, this picture to upload i just have to click it upload all right the picture will be in and you just have to type something all right the title and some information at this next panel right so you have the first item already up to okay next if you have another different item you can actually do a divider all right clicking on here you click on divider and then you can input another item uh, that is different from the one on top so in this case what i can do uh, is to show you another one and uh, that is um, even in terms of images they are gif okay you can click images directly as uh, input from your from your google drive as well all right so in this case show again image and then you can click on select and you can go into your google drive to select images that you already have i'd like to show you this one which is actually a gif file all right yep uh, uh, I've asked students to, to create okay a GIF file that you can create on your own they can run automatically okay so you same thing this is a, a demonstration on how you can insert image directly and resize it okay you can resize it and you can place it in the middle right so if you let's say you want to have a title to this particularly because you just added an image on its own okay so you can actually add a text right clicking on this space itself where the image is and you want to text to this image you just have to come over here in the panel again okay insert panel to click on text the text will appear if you want the text to be a title you can put it right on top right and then you click on the text itself you can put it in the middle right as a center okay alignment and you can change the size according to the size that you want okay all right and then just type the title to it Okay, once you have finished typing, you can actually make adjustment. When you click on here, you can see all the different things that you can do with the text format. Okay, you can bold it, alright. You can even add certain points to it, alright. And then um, additional information. Alright, so once you are con uh, certain this uh, confirmed, alright, then you can move on to the next item. Click on the space and another divider, and then you can add on another uh, so called uh, item at the bottom. Okay, for example, if I want to add another uh, format, right, layout, I can just click on the layout, bring it down to the bottom. Okay, this time I can add certain if you have a, a, a certain idea of two pages or two images or anything side by side. Now I'm going to show you how you can add video into your slide, right? So if you click on the plus sign, Okay, you will see YouTube here. You can actually upload a and a video. Okay, from YouTube. You come to this panel. Where you can key in the um, suggested title to the YouTube that you want. Okay, click on it after you type in, and then from here you select. All right. For example, you want this one. You just click on it and then double click, or you can click and select. Uh, click select. Right, the video will be placed right there for you. Right. Let's say you already found a video that you want from the YouTube uh, page, and you want to put this into your website. Very simply, you just have to click on Share at the bottom, right? And you click a copy for the link, okay? And you go back to your website, click on the plus. Similar procedure to the YouTube. You can also click in this link into this pa this panel or YouTube, and you search the partic the particular uh, YouTube. Video featured and you just have to double click it and the video is up here all right and then you just have to add in the texts of uh, the text for the two videos you have added okay with the text and further information that you may want to add at the bottom here it will make your um, um, slide and the information to the video more comprehensive by then keep, uh, typing the information right below the title Another very interesting function you can add into your website is, of course, let's just separate it with a divider first, and then we'll add another thing 
I'd like to recommend that is slides, right? You may have to dial up some of your information, presentation, okay, uh, into your work or your lesson, okay? You want to put it up in this uh, website of yours as a presentation or showcase, just click on slides and then you will be brought into your Google Drive to, with the slides that you have already done up, okay? Yeah, and then you just have to click certain slides that you want to present over here. It will appear straight away by having that double click on the slide of choice, right? And then you can redesign that slide and how it appears here by shifting it around, similar to the picture shifting, okay? Adjusting the size, right? And you can present directly from this site itself, right? Okay. And of course, you can still carry on in text around the slides to give further info. Last but not least, I'd like to also highlight that you can change the page on top, the main panel. One default way is to go up here, okay, and when you click on the theme at the right hand panel, okay, and you can just change the theme and that will change the top panel. Okay, to something that you like, right? If not, if you want to customize that page, you can also with your cursor up here, click on this. This panel will come up, right? You can click on change image. Okay, you can upload a picture we already have, but you need a certain size to, to, to make it appear nice. If not, you can just click on select image. If you don't have an image of your own, there are various um, images available here. Uh, within the gallery, you can pick any of these pictures. You can also search in the Google. Right. For example, I can click Fun Learning. This is a, a site for my student. Okay, I can just. Or you are a student, you want it to to have a, a certain theme of your own that you like. Just click on the theme and then choose the picture from this list. All right, there will be a lot of pictures that will turn up. I say, for example, I choose this, and it appears right beautifully as my background. All right, by making some adjustment of layout, position, sizes, right? Okay, once you're satisfied, you're ready to go with a beautiful website that easily made by you. It's called yours, right? So, but not to forget the last step, one of very important step, that is to publish it. Otherwise, nobody will see that, uh, your, your portfolio. You know, just what you do is very simply go up to this top right corner, this panel, in this box, which indicates publish. Click on publish, right? Confirm your name, ABC, and it will usually follow the title of your site. Okay, click on publish, and it is done. Alright, so you can just um, share. You can share this website of yours, your new portfolio of yours, very easily by just clicking this link up here, this link image. Click on it. Alright, the link will be available. Just click on copy link and just give this link to your teacher, your student, or your friends to enjoy your portfolio. Alright, so simply uh, the friend or whoever has the link, just paste the link here and then there you go. The website, beautifully done by you, is available. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and it makes it uh, easy and also useful for you in creating a website of yours quickly from Google site. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.